Well, look, tourists, commuters, and late-day coffee cravers all came here to a very popular spot in Philly, maybe the most popular corner in the city right now. And they pulled on the big red door handles of the Wawa right next door to Independence Hall, where the bell is ringing right now at 10 o'clock, and right across the street from the Liberty Bell, and these door handles wouldn't budge. The Wawa was closed late today, and you can see temporarily the signs say on the front door, sorry for the inconvenience. And so the doors were closed on the next closest Wawa as well. That's just five blocks up Chestnut Street. They didn't say it on their sign, but they really didn't have to. They, like lots of Philadelphia stores, don't want to be the next Philadelphia looting targets and have their staffs in harm's way. It was the day after, then it was the night after. But before day turned to night, the day after Philadelphia's latest looting rampage, as police called it, stores throughout the city thought it better to stay closed today or close early tonight. TJ Maxx on Market Street shut down before dark. And even here in stately Society Hill, a couple of miles away from the closest looting, the CVS store closed early too and bluntly said the reason why on their door, for safety. And while the stores looted, including the Center City Apple Store, stayed closed all day today, other nighttime businesses stayed open. And many people stayed with their plans for a night on the town, dining outside and in, and seeing a strong police presence at night, just as they did during the day especially around the Center City Philadelphia Mall, known as the Fashion District, that looked like a new police district tonight. Did you feel apprehension about going out after what happened around town last night? No, I just feel like it's city living and things happen once in a while, but I'm usually happy to go out to dinner. I feel safe at the restaurants I go to. Any thoughts about not wanting to hang out tonight since what happened here last night? I mean, it sounds bad, but not at all. I mean, it's Philadelphia, it's a pretty night. It's the best night we had in a while. Um, first night without any rain. And, you know, I, I feel safe. Me personally, I feel safe. All right, so the obvious question is what will happen tomorrow? And that depends on what happens the rest of tonight. And so far tonight, there have been no reports of new looting, maybe because of the strong police presence we saw tonight that's staying strong for a while longer. I talked to lots of cops today and tonight. Nearly all started at 8 a.m., and they were still working as we got ready to go on the air at 10 p.m. And when I asked them what time they were done, they said they still didn't know. They just wanted to make sure everybody who's out tonight, like these folks, get home safe and every business that was open or closed was still safe from what happened to a lot of businesses last night. So, Jason, Sheba, we'll see. That's the only answer I can give you right now about mm -hmm. what happens for the rest of the night. In the meantime, police will be on heightened alert. Nice to see sharp dressed guys walking by and not mm -hmm. Lululemon spread all over the road like we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve, thank you very much.